Let me show you guys a couple of exciting things about this camera. One feature that you're used to from the EX3 and the EX1 is excellent low light performance. The excellent low light performance comes from the Exmor CMOS chip and the size of the chip. It's a half inch versus the one third inch chip cameras that people are used to in that budget range. Well, as we mentioned, on the 350, your chip is two thirds inch. Bigger chip, more light coming in. So you can expect even better low light performance out of this camera. And what do I mean when I say better low light performance out of this camera? Well, check this out. I'm going to zoom in to sort of the darkest area in the room here. Um, there is no light. My studio audience will attest. There's no light shining on our audience microphone here, this little uh, shotgun mic. And yet, there it is on the monitor. You can see it pretty much without light. And if I wanted to, I can hit this easy button, which will allow the camera to compensate for iris and gain for me and uh, bring it up even clearer. Look at that. All right, easy button on. Easy button off. Now, you might see a little bit extra noise because there's gain being added, but the point is you're getting a, a true accurate picture, color accurate and uh, luminance accurate, even though there's no light shining on that microphone. In fact, uh, to illustrate the point, Jose, can I get you to uh, aim over at that audience microphone for me? Verge, let's go to uh, camera one here. <laughs> All right, so this is the EX3 aiming at it. Now let's switch over to the 350 just to show the difference. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool, seeing in the dark.